All right, so we'll start by compressing one of the springs with the spring compressor right there. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. We position it, position the rod down at the bottom. Go ahead. I see. Yep. so that the rod lines up at the bottom, the, the uh, valve itself, the head of the valve. Are you good up there? Mm -hmm. And in the top, you make sure you're nice and center on the top. And then you pull the clamp and that'll compress the spring. When I get a view of the spring compressing or? Yep. Catching on something? You have it on the wrong one? No, I have it on the right one. It caught for us too, and it like slid back. There, there it goes. goes. Oh, I didn't like that. Sometimes you have to tap them a little bit to get them to come loose. Push this forward a little bit. So Take we can get the, the other one. Out. See that? You gotta. There we go. You gotta. Here. And you can use a magnet to grab them out of there. And then you loosen up the clamp again. We need to actually loosen that pin down at the bottom. spring comes off. And the next thing you'll see is the, uh, the actual valve seal itself. Take the valve out of there. And you can just carefully use the pliers to just give the valve seal a little turn. This one's being a pickle. There it goes. And you get it off the valve guide. Next step, we'll put it up on the table. lapping compound on the valve. Put it around the rim, just like that. And then dip the end of the stem in some oil so that when it goes through the valve guide, you're not scratching it up. And put the valve back in. And grab the valve lapping tool, which is basically a stick with suction cups on it. And you put a little dab of oil on the suction cup. Make it suction up to the valve a little bit better. And then you just spin it. And you'll hear as you're grinding, the grinding sound will get smoother. And when it smooths up, you just tap it some. 
and that'll redistribute the compound. And grind again until you smooth out. And do that as much as you need to to get the surfaces nice and clean. Uh, we've been kind of doing it about 10 times. And you can hear already how it's getting a little bit smoother. You get a little bit of grinding, then it goes right to smooth. Probably good. And that should be good. Take the valve back out. You want to clean that compound off the valve and off of the seat. And just wipe it off. And once you got it all cleaned up, you can see that surface is now smooth and mated to the other surface you can see that it's been ground up and cleaned up and then just dip your valve back in oil again and put the valve back in and put the new valve seat on and the valve seal There's a new one. Yeah, we're over here now. <laughs> yeah. You just take it, slide it back on there. Then you can take a deep well socket and use that to press it the rest of the way down. Use the 19 millimeter right here. Okay. Now we'll put the spring and the keepers back in. Put the spring back on. Press it down. So we've got plenty of room to put the keepers back on. Flange side down. Right, so that the taper is yeah, downwards. Flange taper, thank you. See there, we've got the keepers back in place. And then we'll just release it again. And tapers and the keepers will keep it from coming back up. And that's one valve with the seal replaced and the lapping done. And 12 more to go. Well, for us, 12 more. If you're watching this video for the first time, you've got 15 more.
have fun. Yep.